This is one conference call you do not want to be late for, and being out of this world is no excuse. From the capital to space, the president met virtually with the three astronauts tasked with building China's new space station. You have worked hard on behalf of the Communist Party, State Council and the Central Military Commission and people of all ethnic groups across our nation. I send you sincere regards. Thank you, General Secretary. Thank you, countrymen. The crew departed Earth last Thursday in China's first human crewed mission in five years. They'll be in orbit for the next three months doing tests and getting everything up and running before other astronauts can arrive. And after spending almost a week settling in, how is life going out in space? Our physical conditions are sound and we are advancing our work smoothly. My daily life and work are normal. I can also make video calls with my family. Our home in space is warm and comfortable. This is just the third of 11 missions needed to complete China's space hub. But if everything goes to plan, it will be finished by 2022. So why is China building its own space station? Well, a US law bans Chinese astronauts from visiting the International Space Station. And this latest step is being seen as a giant leap. The construction of China's space station is a milestone of China's space cause and will make pioneering contributions to the peaceful use of outer space by humankind. I wish everything going well with your work and life in space, and we in Beijing await your victorious return. Their work laying the foundation for China to become a superpower in space. Jordan Butler, ABC News.